Welcome back. You know the old saying, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. But flattery for flattery's sake works just as well if you're a member of the president's cabinet. Thank you, Mr. President, and uh, just the greatest privilege of my life is to serve as, uh, as vice president to a president who's keeping his word to the American people. Mr. President, uh, what an incredible honor it is to, to uh, lead the Department of Health and Human Services at this pivotal time under your leadership. Uh, I can't thank you enough for the, the privilege that you've given me and the leadership that you've shown. On behalf of the entire senior staff around you, Mr. President, we thank you for the opportunity and the blessing that you've given us to serve your agenda and the American people. Uh, the Senate Democratic leader Chuck Schumer just couldn't resist, and in this example here, imitation is not the sincerest form of flattery. I want to thank everybody for coming. I just thought we'd go around the room. Lucy, how'd we do on the Sunday show yesterday? Your tone was perfect. You were right on message. Michelle, how'd my hair look coming out of the gym this morning? You have great hair. Nobody has better you hair know, than before you. Before we go any further, I just want to say thank you for the opportunity and blessing to serve your agenda. <laughs> All righty then. Uh, just, uh, a little B-movie there from Senator Schumer, but they're, just try, they're trying, to, trying to just get the Democratic base, have a little fun with that. But back to the, back to the President's Cabinet meeting. I covered the White House for almost 10 years, was in a lot of Cabinet meetings. Yes, there are times when uh, someone around the table is trying to curry a little favor with the boss, uh, but I have never seen anything, anything anywhere close to that. Am I wrong? Uh, and the backdrop is also makes this particularly interesting because I, I don't know what the percentage is of people around that table that have been directly undermined by something they've put out and then the president <laughs> has put out after them. But, but it, it has to be 25% at least. So uh, knowing that, it also made it even more uh, interesting to, to watch. Well, every, uh, everybody also knows that the, you know, the easiest way to Donald Trump's heart is yeah. to flatter him. And it's not just his cabinet, it's world leaders, it's, you know, it, it's pens it's everyone around him they know Sean Spicer you go up there and you say the nicest possible thing you talk about strong leadership uh, you give him credit for everything and that's the way business is done in this White House John you, you've led this conversation with incredible eloquence <laughs> and, and a lot of wisdom and I think inside uh, politics uh -huh. is just a tremendous right. vehicle for news and analysis <laughs> Look, part of it is goes back right. to the, the, the point that they're, they're making the point that they're at work, that they're not being right. distracted. That th the fact is they are being distracted. The fact that their, their agenda is undermined. But that was part of this whole ongoing projection of the White House, that they're, that they're not, this, this Comey thing is a sideshow, this, this Mueller thing is a sideshow, focus on what we're doing. It was <laughs> wildly over the top. Right. But that's part of their messaging. But isn't there a way to say we are implementing your aggressive of plans to get America back to work, implementing your plans to fix roads and bridges, in if, you know, doing your plan for energy independence, whatever it is, without like, wow. There wasn't much talk of work, as far as I was concerned. It was just a lot of talk about there were, No, but they're, they're, but they're, uni they're unified that. behind their boss. Yeah. That's, yep. That was the message. Yeah. No? <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was speechless. I'm speechless. I'm speechless. I'm speechless. I, actually, I think that's grace. You're showing great grace. I think that's good. <laughs>